I am super excited. Do numbers like I work in finance. God bless, no, this not by chance. Don't dab me, you're not my man. Don't at me, you're not my man. Mama said, don't buy it if you cannot buy it twice. Buy it twice. I got by the tools and I don't pump fake with the price. With the price. Always on the ground, I put in work with all my might. My, my. I know that he got me, got me, got me, not by sight. Yeah. First thing I do every morning, say good morning to this handsome boy. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. Yes, hello. Good morning. Say good morning. Or good afternoon. Or good night. Or whatever it is where you guys are. Boop. Okay, just got to the gym and I am super excited. This is the first time in a long time that I'm getting to do class. And I love class. I've talked about that here on this YouTube channel before that I think going to class when you're doing CrossFit style workouts is awesome and something you should prioritize because you get great coaching, you get a great environment. Like an environment makes a huge difference. I think that you're gonna get such a better workout and push yourself so much harder if you're in the right environment. And that's one of the reasons I love coming to class just to you know try to hit that extra gear or just like the shared suffering of these workouts just makes them more fun even if you don't go harder that day because of the community you're going to feel better because you're around people at least i do so i am so excited to get into class i've talked about on here how i've been super busy and i've had a lot going on and it just kind of cut into my gym time i've been doing a lot of workouts by myself i did the wadapalooza qualifier those were six workouts i had to do alone mostly so i really haven't had the chance to get in and be with the community like i said i also had a lot going on in my personal life for more just my life in general and because of that I've just been busy on phone calls and meetings and just not having as much time to be at the gym and not having the time to get to the gym when there is actually a class available also I live so far away from here 27 miles each way from my gym Diablo CrossFit so there's some days that there's just other things going on and I don't have the time to get all the way over here and get home so I am just so grateful that I get to be here today and I get to take all of you along with me. We've got a fun workout going on, um, lots of elements, there's a strength portion, some back squats. We all know I need to be a better squatter, so it's definitely a good one for me to get in there on. And uh, we'll see how my legs are holding up after a couple weeks of not having as much time to uh, get strong. But hopefully soon there will be more time. I hope so. There will be. We're going to make it. We're going to make it work. There's some changes coming. Subscribe to see what's going on. strong people. Awesome to see this at noon on a Friday because, you know, we expect more people to be at work, but we got all these people working out, getting it in. like that so first time lifting heavy in a little while so just kind of seeing what I can do and it's not supposed to be a max out effort anyway today so not thinking about that and just trying to see where I am right now under the circumstances because I think everyone can relate to getting busy and not having the amount of time they want to prioritize their fitness and that's where I am right now. We all have these seasons of life, so I'm just focusing on doing what I can and being proud that I'm making an effort to get in 
as often as I can. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands right. When I link with ball point, you know it's not. Everyone else is cleaned up, but I can put the workout up here again so you can see what it is. It was like three rounds of run 200 meters, 12 pull-ups, max wall balls for four minutes, rest one minute. So I got 50, 48, 41. So kind of fell off. Wall balls are one of my least favorite movements and kind of just getting back into things. Well, I think I'm still in the season where I'm gonna be a little bit more sporadic but I think that's gonna come to an end in a couple weeks, so that's exciting. But just trying to keep things up, trying to keep moving. I was happy to do this many wall balls. I'm sure my legs are gonna hurt from the back squats and the wall balls, but grateful to be doing it. It was a good workout. Definitely got my heart rate up. I was looking at my heart rate, which is on my watch, but I do have a polar heart rate monitor that I'm wearing because people ask me all the time and they say like watches aren't accurate and they definitely are but this is actually a heart rate chest monitor that's connected with Bluetooth to my watch and that projects the heart rate from the strap on my chest so it's pretty accurate I think or at least more accurate than just the watch on its own and my heart rate was like in the 180s at time so this, so this was a high heart rate workout really just die and then rest. <laughs> um, it was hard to do those wall balls after my heart rate just being so high. I did butterfly pull-ups that just keeps my heart rate really high after that run. Got to that wall and tried to pick up the ball right away, but they were small sets. But just kept chipping away and I think that's um, a good method for this workout. When the coach was going over it, he was saying, don't do like massive sets. Uh, it's better to do smaller sets and keep getting back to it than do a massive set and then stare at the ball. home after what took me forever to get here uh, just a ton of traffic I've mentioned that it takes me well 27 miles to get to and from the gym the last seven of my ride home took 45 minutes so just very 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 long time and my contact fell off oh hello Carson <laughs> while I was driving on the bridge so that was fun just had to try to see through one eye but we are home, it was a long day, the gym was fun, waiting for my car to be serviced, a little bit less fun, but gratefully back with this little pup and uh, get to relax the rest of my evening. Today is my Sunday, so I have off different days. My days off are Thursday, Friday, and I work the weekend, so just gonna chill tonight and relax, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe, there's some news coming soon, so you'll wanna see that. Okay, Carson. He needs my attention now. I gotta go.